Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new episode of the ARG Pokemon Exper- Wait, <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Asa, dudes, welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Arc Adventure episode. This is episode four of our adventure, and as you can see, we've decided to start today's adventure in the ocean. And that is because I want to show you there's been an update to the mod that has uh, changed the way our boy Gyarados uh, works. So first things first, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, please do go ahead and click on that first. Uh, before coming here, you're going to need to watch it. It's a banger. All right, I'm assuming that you've already seen it. Uh, so anyway, as you can see there, we've got this Gyarados over there in the far distant. And that is the one that we saw yesterday. He's still stuck there. And that's because there's a problem with the AI. And apparently an update has been launched. Uh, I did look underneath me before and there were a few Gyarados here. The spawn rates have been increased. Okay, so these guys still don't move, I don't think. Uh, or no, maybe they do. They look like they're moving. But I think the AI of them has been changed to sharks. And I really don't want to go down here because I'm kind of scared. Is that another Gyarados? That is another Gyarados. Where'd my boat go? I've lost my boat. There's a manta ray and there's okay there's my raft okay i'm a bit scared of that manta ray the manta ray can end a uh, life real quick so i'm gonna go over to them i want to check to see if the ai has been changed to sharks um but i think either way their spawns have been increased but i'm just a little scared of uh getting into an interaction i haven't seen any spawn above the water though they're all underneath the water all right I don't see many hostile creatures here. So two Gyaradoses. I wonder what level they are. And I want to check this because I may come back and tame Gyarados at uh, one point later on. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this is dangerous. I probably shouldn't go much lower than this. My oxygen's running out. They still don't seem to move. I shouldn't. I should go back now. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, we may have just killed ourselves with this little expedition. But there's Gyarados on the seafloor. Um, there's Gyarados everywhere. So the hunt for a Gyarados is no longer as hard as you thought it was. Um, but we're suffocating. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. I knew we'd be fine. I knew it. Also, I know John had a very creative name for the raft, but uh, I think we're gonna go with something uh, more appropriate. And uh, it was actually a top comment, so big thanks to this person. But we're gonna go ahead and call it the SSN. Um, it, it makes sense on so many levels for this series. Are you meant to have a dot in the middle? I don't know. I don't think it's meant to have a dot. We'll go with that. So it seems that their spawns have been fixed, but the AI has not, um, which is good and bad thing. Bad because it kind of, you know, takes away a bit of the immersion. You know, you want to see these Gyaradoses, you know, running around like sharks and eating everything. But at the same time, it makes it very easy for one to tame one. You just sit there for about five minutes and knock it out. And uh, it could be interesting. Something we'll do later on. A level 48 one is not something I want to do, although he is above water. And I could sit here and smack him with a bat for about five years. That would actually work. Wait, let me just see something. Oh! <gasps> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. I think we have pissed off Gyarados. Oh my God. Did anybody see that? He just full on took a jab at me. Okay, wait up. Hold the phone. He missed his hit, but I'm still scared to engage in combat with him. You're not doing anything now. It's like whenever you hit them. Okay, so this is actually hitting him. So if I was to sit here for a while and just do this, I would actually eventually knock him out. But he has, I think, 40k torpor, and I think each hit injects like a, a, not, a not significant amount of torpor. So I'm gonna save my bat and I'm gonna save this Gyarados. Uh, the thing is, he's now stuck out of the water even more. So uh, it was cool though. I got to see him attack. Looks very scary. Nothing I want to happen to me, please. Alrighty, goodbye Gyarados. We'll catch you later next year. So assuming we want to try and get some Gyaradoses on our team because they're a sick water team would allow us to skip a lot of things. I have had a chance to mess around with them on my single player one where I take my thumbnail shots. That's how I made yesterday's banger. It's literally Pokemon Snap. But yeah, they're absolutely amazing to drive and I can't wait to show you. This is the problem with the raft. I put it in this way and that's really hard to get back out. Hopefully someone else does that. Uh, also looks like we got Miola joining the series as well. He is unconscious right here and uh, that's good to know, Miola. I think he's trying to beg the uh, Team Rocket recruit. Well, we might be able to hook you up there, Miola. And why does Vic... Vic's logged on since then, I'm pretty sure. Wow, same one. It's just passed out in the front there. But I'm pretty sure Vic's logged on. And I don't know... No, he mustn't have. Because there's no way he logged on and just did that again. Like, in the same spot. Oh, well. Uh, guess I'll just have to uh, do that again. Also, we've got Cheese, the mod creator, on the actual server. And he's given everybody uh, a note with their starter Pokemon. I don't... I asked him what it was and he said it's just a cool note. And then I said, what's the point? We already... <laughs> it's not like we're gonna forget our Pokemon. But apparently Sandman's just got nothing because I don't think he got a starter. Yeah, he got nothing. <laughs> so there's actually an Eevee right here. And uh, I'm not too, you know... I don't really care about an Eevee. You can't really evolve them just yet. We've already got the Jolteon. I, I don't want to be cruel to this guy, but if I have to... No, I won't. Don't, don't harbor any Eevees. I don't want the dislikes. 
Sorry, guys. However, with that being said, I do want to try and get some levels going so I can start unlocking smithies and whatnot because we definitely need to get these crossbows uh, to be able to try and actually tame Gyarados and a bunch of other tames. Uh, pterodons even. We really need some pterodons, something to fly around in. Um, so let's just see what we got here. We got some desert cloth stuff. I haven't seen that before. Must be a desert on this map somewhere. Um, but I don't think that uh, we can get anything that we want. Smithy. Oh, yeah, we can get a smithy. So we're just going to try and get the materials for it. Uh, let's also see if we can get the pterodon saddle. No, it's level 35 for that so it's gonna be a bit of a grind getting to level 35 with that being said however i definitely want to try and get some tames in this episode uh we've got a very low amount of resources i think we need to up the multiplier on this stuff i think these are my narcotics so i'm gonna take them yeah i was gonna cut them up before but i've got 11 tranquilizer arrows which i can go ahead and try and knock out i might be able to tame a pterodon but i don't have the levels to make the saddle so it's a little unfortunate so anyway, i'm gonna head up into the hills and see what we can find so yesterday we had a mission to try and successfully bring back some crystal we were unable to find any crystal. There's some fire going over there. That can only mean one thing, Charmeleon. Okay, we could try and tame ourselves up a Charmeleon here. Uh, he has gone ahead and he's burning everything alive. But if we keep our distance, use our bows. Where'd he go? Charmeleon, where'd you go, buddy? I'm scared because last time I swore he went invisible and killed me. I literally saw him a couple seconds ago. Is he in this rock? Like, if I mine this rock, will he appear? Okay, so I need to get some metal. So I'm going to get some metal either way. I'm watching my weight as well. Like, weight watch is here. We get good XP from this as well. And we should hit a level anytime soon, uh, which is good because we need that stuff. I'm going to put it into melee damage because I want to try and be able to knock things out. If you have a higher melee damage, your arrows will do more damage for Torpor. So that means they'll knock out quicker. And of course, that means you get to tame them. That's actually something I should look into as well, considering I don't have much uh, things to, you know, learn out torpor i'm gonna get a slingshot these are just things they throw rocks and uh they allow you to get a decent i'll say decent amount of uh torpor into your anemone i'm scared i'm gonna break this stone charmander's gonna be like saw dude and then i'm gonna die but i also want to get rid of the stone because i'm committed already at this point and it's good xp geez we're gonna be here all night and day all right no charmander no charmeleon okay so we're officially underweight here which is good. So that means we'll fly back home, start cooking up this metal that we've just received from the mountain. A little bit bummed though. Really did want to try and get some kind of Charmeleon. Would have been great. And also apparently Charizards are out on the server. So that's also something to look out for. And I will say it again, just for people who don't know, this mod is like in very early development. Like they're adding things as they go. It's only a one guy, uh, one man army pretty much. He goes by the name of Cheese and um, he's very cheesy. But he's good and he is trying to add as many Pokemon as he can. Uh, he said he might even add Lapras for us. I know, I'm a simple man. So anyway, just having a look. Last time we went off that way. I don't want to head home just yet. I want to really try and find these crystals, even though they straight up were not happening. All right, we got to watch ourselves here. It's freezing. Oh, I see a flame. That can mean one of two. Is that a Charizard? I saw a, fl I saw a flying flame. I saw a, f I saw a flying flame. Uh, bleh, bleh, tongue twister. Tongue twisters. I saw a flying flame. What's going on? My am lagging. Do you see that? That's a flying. I think that is a Charizard. Oh my God. God, there's Charizards. Oh my, or is it a Moltres? There is something flying. It has a fiery tail and it may be aggressive. There's one on the floor as well. I could, oh my God, it's beautiful. But how can we get around it? I just want to, uh, is he coming for us? He's not gonna, is he, oh my God, there's some real fire going on down there. Holy crap, that, that is on fire. That raptor is fire. Uh, I want to try and see if these guys are aggressive. I know I'm dead if they are, but I might be able to outrun it. Um, this is Dodgy Missions 101 with your boy, yours truly. I wish I had my spyglass, man. I really needed to see the like, levels from afar. He's landing, it looks like. Maybe he's not aggressive. He doesn't seem to be aggressive like Charmeleon. All right, let's get ourselves a Charizard. No. Nah. It's not gonna happen. We need to have, we needed to have Ebolas then. If we had Ebolas, maybe. Now I know they're called Bolas, but I call them Ebolas because I can. I should have bowled him up. I really should have. The thing is, I don't know if I want to go ahead and I did want to tame a Charmeleon. I didn't know if I wanted to tame a Charizard. Bolas, when I think about it, actually are just a really good item to have around because you can just bowler things, um, which is amazing. You need to be able to bowler things. Like even a Charmeleon. I, I just hope you can actually give them the Ebola. I really shouldn't be doing this mission with all of my metal on me. Is there any crystals up there? There he is, Charizard. Whoa, it's a little bit laggy over here. I need one of these guys to land. See, the thing is, I think it might, I don't know if you need a saddle to ride Charizard. So if we were able to tame him, we'd be in the money. Oh no. Nah. 
See that that bowler there? Just saved my life. That's a level 112 raptor. My god. All right. Where have these bowlers been my whole life? I hope he's not... Oh, no, there's another one. Look at this. It's just like a zombies, but with raptors. Holy crap. Tell me we can get away in time. Oh, my god. They just come around all these corners. All right. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Now, imagine that if they were just like Charmeleons. <laughs> god. Looks like the Charizard dream will have to wait another day. Man, bowlers save lives. Like, you know how Ebola kills people. Bowler saves lives. Just don't add the E. All right. It's a dime. I actually wouldn't mind some meat. Let's go. Level two. Perfect. You got that high melee damage. Yeah, we missed the blind. Lit scenes. And let's get some food. Not much. We had diggers bees in the forest. Not sure if we wanted to get one of those. All right. Looks like we're going home. Activate parachute. And off we go. I actually like to think I'm becoming a better arc player. Like those bowlers right there. I, they're invaluable. Does everybody remember this guy? His name's Mudsdale. I can't see him because of my camera angle. His name's Muddale or something. They had it in the comments last time. He was the one who gave us some abuse last episode. There's another one. Uh, looks like this must be their spawn. I might be able to get one of these. And these look like ones that you might be able to ride around. Because none of them have saddles right now. So... If I could get myself a horse, my horse would be amazing. All right, I'm going to check his power level. I don't want to... Uh, I've been watching too much Dragon Ball Z lately. <laughs> I got to check his power level. All right. Oh, he's pissed. You can tell he's pissed. All right. Now, winder up. Level eight. All right. He's level eight. That's perfect. Come on now. I got him once. Hopefully, he doesn't tame and need beer like the other horses in this game. Okay, we're going to need to bowler him up again. All right. He's bowlered. He's only level six. There's another one down the hill. I can see it. He's not already knocked out, is he? Oh, he's already knocked out. Holy crap. You can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell. He didn't move at all. All right. Hopefully, this guy eats... Uh, he moves. He's scaring me, buddy. I was killing him. I'm going to lose plus levels on that now. Um, okay, I don't think there is actually a multiplier now that I think of it. So, yeah, let's have a look. Does he eat those or does he eat berries? Uh, I'll chuck those berries in for now. He, he has to have eaten one of the two, right? He can't be one that eats the beer because this guy attacks you as soon as you get close to him. And you can't... Unless, I mean, you could get ghillie suits, right? Okay, I'm a little concerned at this stage. His food... Uh, I suppose his food hasn't dropped down to a point where he needs it just yet. I have a good feeling about this. I have a feeling we're able to ride him um i haven't asked the dev oh boys have a look at that what did he eat he ate the mate he ate the mate he ate the meat um now if i could get some prime meat it would make this go a little quicker but i can't see i'm not in the position to actually uh go ahead and kill people like and get prime meat there's nothing i can kill I'm, I'm a weak warrior right now i need some better items and that's what we're gonna be working on that's why i went ahead and got this metal so we can start getting uh oh which we also need the refinery forge to go ahead and smelt the metal and uh, we'll go get that set up in the house for sure but for now it's all about boy mudsdale which is gonna need two more because he's losing um he's losing his food quicker than he's gaining it oh whoa no there has to be food there otherwise he loses that that's bad i mean i could try while this guy's taming i'm gonna go check to see i want to keep my torpor arrows actually i'm really pissed that i didn't know whether or not he's gone unconscious because he was stuck with the ebola anyway um but yeah there's a mudsdale down here now, I'm actually scared because I think they put you on fire. Maybe like a level one Aurorus might die under a spear. What level is this guy? Because I think this guy would have prime meats. It's level 16. There's so many of them. I haven't seen an actual Bronto yet. Oh, well, I guess I'll start getting some narco berries farmed up. We've got that track there now as well, so it's probably a good idea to get him up. See, if I didn't actually take that out, it would have uh, it would have worked. So I'm a little bit of an idiot. <laughs> Just a little bit. In the meantime, though, let's repair all our tools and get ready to head back down. Alrighty, buddy. Should be any second now. Yeah, you gotta tell me I can ride you. Please. You're a horse. That would be so bad if I can't ride you. When that gets down to, I think... Oh, actually, I think that's gonna go all the way down to 70 because it's gonna have 50 at one point to eat. So I think we still got a bit left. Imagine if I just randomly chucked this spear up over this map and it landed and it landed on like a dodo and it killed the dodo. It was like a level one dodo on the beach and it just kills it and then it comes in the chat. You've killed level one dodo. Oh, it doesn't have much distance actually. That is really bad distance. Uh, wow, I'll pick that up on the way back home, thanks. And there we go. You've tamed a Mudsdale. Uh, what should I call this thing? Um, I'm gonna call it My Little Pony. <laughs> All right, because it is it is pretty much a pony now, mate. I want to see the option to ride you. Please, 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 please. <gasps> yes. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we're maxed out on his weight here, so we need to try and... What's his weight that he can hold? Uh, let's check right now. He can hold 117. We need to level up some weight on this guy. He's only level 8, so that's probably why he's not that great. 
I know that'll rhyme. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me. All right. So he'll get us home though. Oh, he's fast. For someone who's pretty much got a full bot, like a lot of weight, he's pretty fast. I don't really care about the spear. I'll pick it up or I don't. I don't really care. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. It tastes just like raisins. Dude, this is sick. Now, if I now if I remember correctly, I think this is the first evolution or he might not evolve. I'm not too sure. I know this guy came in either Sun and Moon or X and Y. I actually don't even know when he came in. Um, but yeah, he is an interesting one. Now he's out of NRGs. It hasn't, does he have an attack? What's his attack? Let's have a look. What's his attack? Oh, just like you'd expect. He headbutts. He does a nay and then he headbutts. All right, I'm gonna need to make a stable for this guy and everything. I can't wait to make a stable for my boy, my little pony. All right, you stay right there, buddy. Okay, getting off you. Not exactly the easiest. Uh, oh, no, it's just a little bit of glitch. All right, so, hi, right, Charmander. Meet your new friend, my little pony. Oh, we got some pterodons up there. Uh, but yeah, no, what were we gonna do? Okay, let's get some like items made, the forges. We don't have any beds in here yet. That's kind of crazy. All right, so what do we need for a forge? You're gonna need some stone, flint, and wood. All right, so this is gonna take a lot of our weight. Uh, so in the meantime, John, you literally logged out in the most annoying place possible. Like, I actually kind of hate you right now, John. Why would you log out right in front of the door? That's so annoying. All right, so I think I said we needed 20 flint total. So this should hopefully be enough. I'm just so wrapped now because Vic got the raptor and I almost used it for this episode actually just because it's so convenient to get up and down the hill. But now I've got my own little pony and I'm going to get on him with no weight in a bit and you'll see how fast he'll actually go. Seems like a little bit of a low-key speed demon. I'm not going to lie. Wow, we need a lot of stone. So the refinery forge is the first part of this whole setup that you're going to make. You make the forge and use the forge to make metal, uh, the metal ingots, then use the metal ingots to go ahead and actually make uh, the smithy. So we need 20 wood here, nothing crazy. There we go. I come from It was a good idea to max my weight out, I'll tell you that much. Alrighty, so we've got our refinery forge being made. Perfect, it is made. Oh, a level as well. We will take melee damage, like we've always said we will. Melee damage and health is for the most part the best things to get. Plus at the end, you can you know change it up later if you want to as well. Alrighty, so smithy now. We're gonna actually get this refinery forge down, get it uh, smelting away on some of the things. I might actually put it outside. I don't know. I like this whole idea of keeping our things outside. But then again, there's nothing inside either. So we might as well keep it inside because <laughs> there's nothing else here. Plus, we're going to expand later on anyway, so it's fine. Finery Forge there in the corner. We're going to need to get the Pokemon outside as well. All right, boys. Out we go. Come on. You're not babies anymore. If there's any bad like things that come around, you can all collectively get together and fight your battles. No longer going to fight your battles. Come on, Charmander. Come on, Squad. I love the way they waddle out. All right, hey, Squaddle, mate. Come on. Come on, Squirtle, mate. Squirtle can't find the door, apparently. Let me, uh, I think John's blocking the way and Squirtle's just, he's lost his mind. I don't think Squirtle can get out of this predicament. Wait up, Squirtle. Yeah, that's my boy. All right, do you want to go for a swim, buddy? Here, I'll put you in the water, actually. You probably want to go for a swim. Come on out here. I'll put you in the water. Come on. And there you go. You can swim right there. And in before you need oxygen and die in the water. That would be comical but not really because you're vix and that would be really bad anyway getting back to binus uh so we're gonna go ahead and chuck in our metal here i'm gonna chuck in i should chuck in the spark powder because the spark powder lasts so much longer but i don't think you get charcoal from it that way so it's like a catch 22 really and we do need some charcoal so we need to make more of actually no you can only use oh you can't what? This is so dumb. I think this is because like rafts were overpowered. You can't light anything on water, which is really dumb. I don't know why they did that. That's so dumb. You can't, even though we're fine, it won't work. All right then, that's a shame. It's even on a foundation as well, which is even more surprising. Like if it was on like the floorboard kind of thing, I'd kind of see that a little bit, but it's not, it's on the foundation. All righty, well, it looks like we're gonna leave a pass on that for now in terms of uh, upgrades for the metal equipment. We'll have to uh, work something out and maybe have something on the land. That another Mudsdale, that is another Mudsdale. I'm a bit scared because they are a little bit aggressive. That's right, run off in the trees. Um, now, let's see how fast this guy can really go. Oh, he's got, he's got an option here. I'm going to get some weight levels up on him. Actually, we may have a bad idea to train him up a little bit. But yeah, he's pretty... Oh, he jumps! Oh, he jumps! So majestic, too! What a little jumper! Dude! Unbelievable right now. Absolutely unbelievable. All right. Eat this guy up. I said eat this guy up. There we go. His attack range is awful and his damage is even more worse. And he glitches. And he sucks. What about Charmander? Can you verse Charmander? Hmm, interesting. Now we run because I don't want to get put on fire. Is he cool? Yes. Is he good? Probably not. Uh, but he's cool. So that's fine. I wish I could get like a really big rock here and jump over Aurorus. That'd be pretty funny. There's like, wee. 
<laughs> He's majestic as fudge. And that's why I love him. Imagine if they add Ponyta later on and I have to make a choice between this and Ponyta as my little pony. It would be tragic. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode right there. Hope you guys did go on to enjoy my first solo episode of Ark Pokemon. If you guys did, let me know with a like rating down below and any suggestions for a house, please do let me know. I'd love to see the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.